don't cry. I'll be there soon. I'm close. I'm so very close. Don't cry. I think it's the doctor. It's you! Oh, yeah, you're not looking too great. You got branches growing out. Go away, you hear me? Leave me alone! She needs me! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Darkwood. Today we are going to deal with the rest of the villagers, uh, finish the granny and uh, elephant's quest line, maybe even meet up with the doctor, we'll see if we have time, but uh, yeah, I feel pretty confident about those course of actions. Got the rifle, got our lantern, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll just make a bandage really quick to heal that so we have the, the well for later. Alright, let's not waste any further time. Let's just get right into it. Uh, as, of course, the usual, be sure to subscribe if you like this content, want to see more like it, all that good stuff. And for now, let's go doom the the villagers that we already doomed before. I, I, I guess further doom. Speaking of Doom, once I get a capture card, doing Doom 3 will absolutely be on my agenda. Oh, and speaking of which, if you guys ever want to see what's on the schedule, um, I might post teasers about what's coming soon as well. Um, I've actually updated my About Me section to show what games are currently in rotation, um, events slash holidays to look out for, and like I say, I might include, you know, ending soon, here is what is starting soon. So definitely be sure to check the, check out the channels about me section. Now the doctor is a little hard to find, and I'm assuming he's like over here-ish? But there's a, a little area right on the border of the map that you can kind of creep into. So I'm keeping an eye out for that while we make our way to the quarry. Ooh. Now, we could go in there and, like, actually kill them all. But it kind of seems a little... Well, basically, our choice is do we want to be cruel or just thorough? Interesting. This feels like it should be something. I have made it to the quarry. I think? Yes. Just not to the actual entrance yet. Here it is. Now, we can... You see these sticks here? We can break those, and that boulder will fall down, and it'll seal them inside. That would certainly be the quickest and most efficient way to take care of them all. We've already killed the few out here, or we could just go in and manually kill all of them. You know what I mean? Um, tempted to manually kill them all? But that would take a while, so I think we're just going to seal them in and call it that. Looks like it's the only way to the old quarry. Indeed. Boulder might fall down any minute now. I must be careful not to trap myself in the quarry. Yup. Is that it? Oh, one more. We have just effectively finished what we started by killing the sow. 
and killed the villagers. Hooray! <clears throat> oh look, they were trying to get out. Hi, you're doomed. In fact, you know what? Hi, I want to try out my rifle. I'll put you specifically out of your misery. Beautiful. Alright, well, the granny should be happy with us now. Now, heads up, as I was reading before recording this episode, uh, there's actually a fair bit of lore surrounding the granny I was not aware of. I'll uh, kind of bullet point most of what I saw. But essentially, uh, the granny is the mother to the elephant mother, so she is actually their granny. Except that is not the real granny. That is a actual mushroom clone that the forest created. The real granny, we actually might be able to find her body, or at least her original house, um, when we go to the village, this village. So that's neat. Um, I think that's honestly the bulk of it, but yeah, that's worth noting. Okay, I'm following the edge of the map here to try and find Zadokta. I can notice some kind of passage under the roots entwining the wreckage. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Don't care about your mushrooms, except it looks like there's something underneath that. Negative. Don't cry. I'll be there soon. I'm close. I'm so very close. Don't cry. I think it's the doctor. It's you! Oh yeah, you're not looking too great. You got branches growing out. Go away, you hear me? Leave me alone! She needs me! Alright, fine. There you go, my friend. Wow, they're really making me execute him. Dead doctor. Location found camp. Doctors? Wow, a lot of doctor's notes here. The fucker showed me the exit. Finally! Entrance behind the wardrobe. I was there in the cottage. This is where the noise was coming from. I wasn't mistaken. How could I have missed it? The tunnel. Those village idiots would happily feed, lead me, feed me to the woods. But I still couldn't close those fucking doors in the tunnels. They've suffered enough. Unfortunately, this means I'll also have to look out for the rat. He will come after me, that bastard. I'm sure of it. I should have killed him when he was lying in the cart, helpless. R. Hypochromis vulgaris. Okay. The swamp. I was hoping that this damned stinking hole would lead me to the exit. Unfortunately, the roots have broken through the tunnel walls and blocked the passage. However, I feel I'm getting closer. I can hear her more clearly. The rat's hideout. I searched the cottage. I found some weird device connected to the oven. The locals don't use such equipment. Rats must have made a hideout out of it. I'm sure of it. Apart from the oven, I've also found a broken compressor. Looks like they are... I thought time was moving for a moment there. Looks like they are using oxygen tanks when traversing the woods. I need to leave the house as soon as possible. What are those pictures of? Did you have a camera that worked? My guy. Whispers! Whispers on the radio! Whispers in my head! Louder than usual, I feel I'm close now. I've seen him. He's back to his place. I took a photo of the motherfucker. Village. 
I remember this place vaguely. I haven't been here in ages. Everything is flooded and overgrown. But I remember the shrine and the cottages. I used to come here to treat people. The tree in the village must have grown no later than five years ago when the forest blocked me from this place. I can hear you cry, but I don't know where it's coming from. Tell me where to go. Don't cry. I'm close. Please don't cry. I'm close. Are you behind the trees? Oh, this is hard to read. Is it... Something... Born under... Something, something... I think it is here. This cry... Something, this cry... It's here. I don't know. The trees are... Aging? Something in a cry... Well, that's not a journal entry at all. There's... Is it you there? Yeah. Yeah, the doctor lost it, sadly. Might have, you know, screwed us over, but you can't help but feel for the guy. Ooh, big, big lake here. I hope it's not too bad for you guys. Alright, well, let's not waste any more time here. LEAVE THAT ALONE! He screams while dead. The figurine's head is covered in mud. When I hold it against the stun, I can see something shining inside. Someone has pressed a shiny stone into it. Nah, we don't need it. We're already rich. We'll leave him his last. Goodbye, Doctor. I hope you find her. You know where we're we going. Uh, honestly, we're pretty close to the hole, so we might as well go this way. I would have. Had, I was planning on going up to the house to take the holes over here, but like I say, we're we're pretty close. I feel like there's almost certainly a swamper in here. This is dumb. Well, we made it. Centipede. Nah, I'm not going near that. Where the hell am I? Here, maybe? Well, I went near it and it didn't kill me. Hooray! Now that's a swamper. Hi. I don't want to fight you. Is that a centipede? Nope. I'm getting lucky with the centipedes. Okay, here's the holes. Supposedly there's a set of pliers here. I never found them. Okay, we want to go up to see Granny. Oh, and apparently these guys are clones of villagers. But I don't really feel like talking to each and every one of them. Hi, Shrine. Is this the right place? Oh yeah, because we cleared. We cleared a path. Take those flares we left behind. Hi, Granny. And what news? 
Have you gotten rid of this greedy mob that wants to get me? I already forgot what voice I gave her. The old lady smiles, revealing her white toothless gums. She leans in her armchair and grabs me by my hand heartily. I feel a white goo seeping from her hand, smelling of mushrooms. You're a good man, Sonny. The woman produces a small key from under her skirt. Here, take the boy to his family. Probably be safer there and come back tomorrow. I'll give you a beautiful gift for the trouble. Will do. This boy thinks that she that she is his grandmother, despite not knowing that she is actually his grandmother. Take the notes. The boy is standing under a wall overgrown with enormous mushrooms. He's visibly scared. His lush mop of hair veils a restless, wide-open pair of eyes. The kid is whispering, as if reciting something under his breath. The boy cowers and presses his hand back against the soft wall, which starts to ooze a white glow, a white goo. Kneel and extend your arm towards the boy. The boy is terrified. Slowly, he slumps down from the wall to the ground, curling into a ball. The murmur returns into a loud recitation. One little bear ate a bowl of soup, then another bear came and there were two. Four little bears made a sudden pow, along came the fifth and took a little bow. That's the code for the uh, oxygen shack. One, two, four, five. Put the boy on your back and lead him to his family. When I take the boy into my arms, he starts screaming, reciting the rhyme over and over. I'm not going to read it again. This is going to be a long journey. Thankfully, it does fast travel us over there. Oh, God, what voice did I give you? You brought back my child. The woman leans towards the boy. Marson, where have you been? The boy stares at the ground in silence. Come here! Marcinic walks towards the woman, nervously plucking at his old torn sweater. Look at you! Where's your mask? And the gas tank from your precious brother! His love protects us! It fills our lungs with clean air! This is how you thank him, young man! Your childish behavior made him very, very angry! Now we will all have to apologize to him for your stupidity! The two kids standing behind their mother flinch. The woman grabs the boy's hand and disappears in the hallway. After a while, she comes back with an oxygen tank. Take it. It's a tank for you, empty oxygen tank. It will protect you from this devilish air, the devil's breath, and other evils lurking in this foul place. It's the only thing I have and the only thing I can give you. The tank is a little rusty, but it seems intact. On the side, I can see some unintelligible scribblings. The valve opens with a little resistance, but I don't hear the hiss of air. It's empty. Do not open the valve without need. You will only waste the clean air. She pushes my hand away from the valve and closes it hastily. May it serve you well. Yeah, uh, so in case it isn't clear, they're not breathing anything special in. Like, flat out. Yeah, he'll tell me the code whenever I forget it. Um, they are deluding themselves into thinking that they are breathing clean air. But I mean, hey, that's their business. Alright. Can I leave, please? Where the heck is the exit to this place again? Oh, I could move. I could move this for the exit. And I will do so. Thank you. But now we have the oxygen tank we need. If we bring it home, we can fill it. First, though, we want to take a visit to right here. 
One, two, four, five. One, two, four, and five. The air is dreadfully rancid and stuffy. The heavy, sweet smell of the flowers mixes with probably the stench of rot or something. Location already marked, radio tower. Old journal. The pages are glued together, creating a rotting clump of paper. There's a note at the bottom. Radio tower, door 21, 12 p.m. Kowalsiak, Trzinskowski, Stelmasik, Zielinski. I'm sorry I butchered those. At the top, I can only make out the words Devil Horns, Orga. The rest of the thing is unreadable. Wow, that Fla I laughed at the right time. Ooh, definitely getting some leg here. A decaying corpse, probably of a young boy. Another empty oxygen tank for us. Yeah, so if it wasn't clear, they have not been breathing in clean air. They're probably doomed too. To be honest, I'm wondering what they're doing for food. Anyways, I saw the journal update a few times there. Boop, 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 boop. I found... Okay, no. Mushroom Granny. Favorite for the Mushroom Granny. Here we go. Weird rhyme. The boy keeps repeating the rhyme. Blah, blah, blah. The boy returns to his family. I took the boy back to his family. Oxygen tank. I received an oxygen tank from the masked woman. Unfortunately, it's empty. I may be able to fill it using the compressor. I found an old journal in the elephant's oop, cottage. Looks like it was written by one of ours. One of the notes mentions a radio tower and some downward passage. Might be worth investigating. According to the notes, the radio tower is located in the southwestern edge of the swamp. I reached a shed near the elephant's cottage. Inside, I found a decaying corpse and a lot of equipment. They probably found it in the woods. There are some oxygen tanks here. Empty ones. I may be able to fill them with oxygen using the compressor. Oh, there's multiple? Ooh, big leg, big leg. I only see the one. And that's fine, I only need the one. Apologies, this area of the swamp is apparently rife with lag. That's fine. Let's get out of here, go home, drop off our loot. Well, we can save filling the oxygen tanks for later. In terms of places to explore, we still have this area here, which I'm convinced still has a few items, and another, like, thing like this outside the map, probably here-ish. Uh, the burned houses. We do also have the wreckage to go to now that we have a, um, oxygen tank. Um, the radio tower will be where we go to beat the game. And we still have the village to explore. And we're gonna have to take on the Great Lake at some point, so that's gonna be soon. I'm not looking forward to that one. I mean, I am, as a horror fan, but as the person who has to play it, I'm not looking forward to that one, because damn, Great Lakes are spooky. Not only that, but I think we might have a lag issue there, so I'm really hoping it's not too bad. Especially because the Great Lakes have, like, something like 20 chompers or something. It's just riddled with them. You don't go there to have a good time, you know what I mean? Oh, another bit of granny trivia. Apparently, she's also the legitimate grandmother of the three. The three and the elephants used to be the same family once upon a time and no longer are. Get that before it rots. Are there bugs here that I haven't cleared? Sounds like there are bugs here that I haven't cleared. Put the lantern back on. Metal door is still not accessible. Hmm. 
no, I guess that's just regular ambience. Okay, we've got a bit of time left. Let's maybe try venturing a little bit further into the village. Clear that out a little bit more. Bless you, trader. Trade er. He was no traitor. He was loyal to the end. Ooh, hi vines. I don't want to talk to you. All right, now we got to find the actual door again. Here it is. Try and make sure we hit up every area. Be nice and thorough. This place is somewhat dangerous, but it's not too, too bad. And there's at least one NPC here for us to talk to. As long as we take this area bit by bit and we don't overextend like we are currently doing, we should be okay. Shovel stab OP! Never nerf. Okay, that's probably good. We should start heading back again. Try and do passing sweeps through this place if, uh, as we keep going, you know. Clear it bit by bit. So we know by hopping through this window and going a bit, we've kind of cleared that rough area. We haven't gone as far as the well or the tractor. Yeah, let's definitely go. We've cleared this building, yeah? Yeah. So we know that uh, if we go a little bit north from the glare and then go straight, we'll reach our place. Boop. Ooh, we're going to have to fill up the uh, generator tomorrow. Should also make sure we drink from the well. Anything else we need? We'll take the armor, because why not? Yeah, I think we're pretty good otherwise. Make one more bear trap, and then we'll pick up the one that's here. And let's go. Oh, and wooden nails! Wooden nails! Damn it, Shadow! Stop forgetting wooden nails! There. Alright. Oh, did this get moved? It did. Do we have time? I think we have time. We don't have time. Alright, that's fine. Oh, we do have time for the well, though. It'll be tight. And... There we go. We'll have to make sure to fix the barricades here in the morning. Now let's sit in our chair and enjoy the evening. I should take the lantern off. Alright, what you got for me, Swamp? What you got for me? Stranger going to be able to sleep tonight? Just settle down in this chair, have a have a wee little nap. Oh, oh, hi. That's someone. Now the nice thing about banshees when they do show up is that you tend to be alerted that they're there and they don't break through barricades. Like they don't attack. <sighs> what are we dealing with? Dogs, okay? 
I can deal with dogs. We'll open the door for them once they break through. Assuming they don't get disinterested and stop attacking. Hey, it works for me. There we go. Yeah, come on. You can do it. Luckily, it seems like there's only one, and they're being pretty piss poor about it. Also, we're getting insects again. Okay. to clear that out in the morning. That's fine. I always wonder why it smokes. Like, I didn't light it on fire. The other ones don't do it, but it's always this one. Turn on? It didn't, okay. Gotta keep an eye out for more buggies spawning because they do do that. Is that all you got for me tonight? A big dog and a couple of bug patches? Come on, throw me some human spiders, a couple of centipedes, maybe a chomper ten. Hit me with your best. I can take it. Oh. Getting one more nighttime visitor? Yup. Sounds like a human spider, honestly. I feel like I can, hear, I can hear it screeching, but I should also be able to hear it louder than that. Yeah, come on! Yeah, there it is! Knew I could summon it. Come on in! Yeah, break down the barricade for me! Come on! Pathetic. Had plenty of time. Alrighty. Well, it sounded like uh, this area is what got hit with the buggies. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, let's deal with this, shall we? Mind the radio. Hello. Alright. We can put our wood away. Giggity, giggity. Ooh, hey, mouse. You having a good time there? We can put our nails away. God, we've got so many shells to make armor with. Um, we didn't use either of the bear traps. That's honestly fine. So, you know, we can just uh, drop those on the floor. Alright, and we can honestly probably just sell these flares. I'm pretty sure we've got some in our safe hole. Um, repair our shovel.
Oh, right, we can make a new shotgun. I don't think it's quite as strong as the um, single-shot shotgun, but we'll probably make it and test it out just in case. We need to upgrade the workshop one more time, though, which means we need those other pliers. So we're definitely going to have to go into the village. Now, it needs a duct tape, which is easy to get. Three weapon parts. We have two. We might as well just hold on to those. Um, the long barrel? Yeah. So we'll keep those there. Um, might as well fill both our oxygen tanks. We can sell the tubular magazine, the bolt handle. I think that's pretty much... Oh, and we'll take the torch to deal with the bugs. In fact, we should make another one. There we go. Okay. Not much to sell today. That's because we focused on getting plot stuff done. Take those. That, that. Oh, he doesn't buy the oxygen tank. That's good to know. Makes sense, because uh, if you accidentally sold your tanks, you would be kind of softlocked. You do need an oxygen tank to win the game. I won't b bother buying another weapon parts, because we'll probably get what we need, you know, exploring the village. Um, I think we're good without pretty much most of this, to be honest. Might as well take some rags, those are always useful. And maybe we'll top up some scrap, sure. Okay. Next, let's go fill up those oxygen tanks. I refilled all the empty oxygen tanks. Sweet. Now, I'm pretty sure we, like, legit only need one. It, they don't run out after using them or anything. So... Whatever. We have two. Let's check in my bolt hole here. What's in here? Oh, we have a couple traps in here already. That's good to remember. And a torch for emergencies. Uh, we'll go around here. Indeed it. Let me just check something here. Your range is act your view range is actually increased when you're using the rifle. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go put some stuff away now. Bring that up here. Keep you here because why not? don't need you right now, although we might go there next episode. Things are getting slightly less organized in my inventory, and I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Like, this clip should not... Uh, I guess I'm not okay with that. I think like must be with like... Oh, we have a battery we could sell. And a staff. That's fine. And don't worry, I'll uh, do the refueling of the generator between episodes. No need to watch that. But, with all of that said, I think we're pretty much good to leave it here for today. So thank you to everyone for joining me. I hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time for some more Darkwood. Oh!
Oh! And... Wood... And... Nails, wood... And... Nails. Damn it, Shadow. Stop forgetting wood... And... Nails.